Hello everyone! Thank you guys for checking out today's video. Today's video request is entitled, How to Use Canva Frames. So let's learn how to do it. There are different ways you can use Canva frames. Two ways to be exact. So the first one is using frame elements and the second one is using the edit tool option. We're going to talk about them one by one, so let's start with the first option, and that is using frame elements. So of course, the first thing we need to do is to go to the elements button on the sidebar, and on the search bar, we're going to type in frames, of course, and then hit enter. To see all the available frames they've got, we're going to click on see all over here. And then you can just simply scroll down and find um, a certain frame that you, you're going to like or that you're going to want to use. But you can also uh, do a quick search using the search bar here. So since we're already in the frames category, um, everything that we type here will show us um, results that belong to the frames category and those that would match your uh, keyword. So let's give it a try. Polaroid, for example, and here we are. Let's try another one. What about um, tablet? Oh, okay. We accidentally clicked here, so we're going to go to frames again over here, and there we go. We can find results um, related to our keyword over here. And just one more. Oh, please do not click this button. Otherwise, you'll be routed to this main side panel over here. So I'm just going to input um, phone over here and go to frames. And here we are. I'm going to select one that we can use for today's video. And here we go. And in order for you to insert your photo over here, then you're going to go to the upload section on the side panel or the sidebar, I mean. And then um, you are just going to choose a picture that you want to insert here. Um, you can drag your picture and put it into the frame just like that. Let's try it again, uh, this one, like that. Uh, but if you haven't uploaded your photos yet, of course, you're going to have, have to upload them first. So click on Upload Files and then select um, whatever it is that you want to upload. I'm going to have this one as an example. Just, yeah, so we could have something to upload. And once it's fully uploaded, you can then insert that over here. There you go. And I'm just going to choose another picture here. Okay, let's do just the dog. And in case you want to adjust the placement of your photo within your frame, just double click on your photo and then adjust it and then place it wherever you want to place it. Adjust its placement according to your preference. And you can also use the Smart Crop tool. So if you click on it, it'll automatically um, position your photo for you within your frame. So once you're done, you can just click on done. And that's how you uh, do the first step. So now we're going to move on to the second step. I'm just going to delete this and this one too. Okay, so in order to do the... um. Next step, we're going to need a photo to work on first. Maybe this one would be okay. Okay, let's work with this one. Mm, but I'm not very happy with it, but let's just give it a try. So, of course, we're going to have to click on it and then go to the Edit Photo button on the toolbar above. And here on the side panel, we're, we're going to try to look for frames. However, I don't think you're going to be able to find that option um, using Canva's new version of their editor. So 
let's see no the only tools that we have here are the bg remover tool the magic eraser magic edit filters effects such as shadows autofocus blur and duotone so in order to use the frames um, we're gonna have to go back to canva's old version of their editor so to do that you're going to scroll down to the bottom until you reach this blue box right over here. Um, click on this link that says click here and this prompt will appear. So of course we're going to choose revert to the old editor so that we can find an option to use frames. So we're going to click on our image once again, go to edit image, and then on the search bar we're going to type in frame. And here we are. So we're going to click on see all to see what available frames they've got for us. So yeah, these are the um, available frames that they have for us so far. They have the laptop. Let's give it a try. Um, the black laptop. Next is the white laptop. And then you've got the black phone. White phone. Um, white tablet. Um, Polaroid white Polaroid, black Polaroid, you've got these neon choices also, we've got neon blue, neon pink, neon turquoise, neon yellow, then we've got glitter gold, glitter rose, glitter silver, and we also have film one, and then film two, We've got paint strokes, which is a cute look for creating scrapbooking designs. We also have this paint corners, also good for scrapbooking. We've got this gold circle, gold circle leaf. We've got this gold pentagon, which is very lovely, I think. Gold square got this dark wooden frame dots vintage white um circle wire circle bottom and deco gold so yeah um you do have several options but not that much compared to using element frames so I'm just going to choose one for today's example. It's pretty hard to choose. Um, but maybe I could go with this one. We're going to redesign this later. And once you're happy with your frame, just click on apply. And since we're, since we've been routed to the old editor, no worries. You can go back and forth between the old editor and the new editor. So to go back to the new editor, just click on check it out. And you'll be redirected to the new editor once again. Oh, and I actually also forgot, you can also use some graphic elements as frames. So, um, say for example, Polaroid. And then go to graphics. And say for example, you found a very nice um, Polaroid graphic element over here can just delete this one maybe not I'd like to redesign this later and then click this one and then go to your upload section select a photo from there maybe this one would do and as you can see it's not perfect but there is something we can do about it um, in order to fit this inside our frame, we're going to click on position and to back. So yeah, that's also another way you can use graphic elements as your frame. So yeah, there are a lot of things you can do. Just find a way to get around things. This one is also similar. So yeah. And I think that's all there is to say for now. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. So we hope you found today's video of help somehow. We thank you guys so much for watching. 
I'm going to be redesigning this um, frame over here. So if you want to see how it would turn out, feel free to keep on watching. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. You have a great day.